If you've ever attended a brass or licensing fete in the past, chances are you would have seen advertisements for these parties on one of Bruce Cayoni's signs. Bruce has been a sign artist for over 30 years and is, this year, hosting an exhibition, Once Upon a Fete, to encourage partygoers to revisit the fets of yesteryear. I think this is the perfect time, seeing that we do have carnival, the time for us to just kind of look back and reminisce on the old days and, and you know, some of us have some nice memories from those parties. So that a nice place to come and look at the, at the work and, um, and see, see what we have and then, um, you know, you'll get the feeling, you'll get the vibes. In the 90s, Bruce created signs for some of the biggest parties, from Fire Fet to Boxing Night at Palms Club. But, he says, the industry soon began to change. With the proliferation of FM bands, because it had plenty of people getting licensed and things, so it had a lot of FM bands, and a, and a promoter wouldn't go on one radio station. You will have to go on more than one. And that started to erode on my, on, on my work. And then after that, we had the digital advertising, and then the big boss social media. These days, Bruce still makes money by getting jobs from hardwares and supermarkets. And his busy season is no longer carnival, but Easter and the July-August vacation. Although there may be copycats in the industry, Bruce says his signs are brighter with less distractions. So what I would do is paint the whole board white first. I'm talking about this upper area here. Paint it white first and then come and paint the yellow and the orange in the background there, sprinkle them little green, plow, plow, and then come back now after I draw these letters in pencil and come and paint around in black now. Just paint around in black, which is reverse painting. And with that now, you get a, little, a, better, um, a better look, you get sharper edges and some, a cleaner finish. Party promoter Kevin Kabuki Grayson says Bruce's signs were different as he put his vibe and feeling into it. He says he was always pleased with Bruce's work when they were completed. Persons can visit Bruce's Instagram page for more information on the exhibition. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.